Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Our fiddle leaf is in the kitchen with us because we are getting our house painted today. Eight people showed up this morning and have just absolutely, within the last hour, covered everything, taken everything off the walls. They are kind of taking all of the old nails and stuff out of the walls, patching them up, getting the walls prepped and stuff. And it looks so good. So this is the kitchen. We've got our coffee table in here. Our fiddle leaf is in here. Jay Waz is making our breakfast. And then we've got drop cloths everywhere. And then in here, We've got Sean, he's been displaced from his home. And we've got this covered. But we got the couch in pieces and covered in the middle. It's all gonna be white. We had to throw Riley in the sunroom and she's very upset. <laughs> she's like traumatized right now. She hates us, but oh! So they're gonna be painting upstairs. They're also gonna do in our laundry room in our blue bedroom, our blue bathroom. And last night we made a game day decision that basically I think we're gonna have them take out this wallpaper and paint all this, paint the ceiling, paint the little skylight thing possibly, and then paint right there where there's more wallpaper. So that was a Jay Was thought. He was like, since they're coming, we should just get it done. I was like, oh, okay. So anyway, there's a lot going on, but we're very, very, very excited they're gonna leave all of this wood though which we really like all the wood trim on the doors but that is the sample and i think it's gonna look so nice and we're doing a black fireplace it's gonna be so good <sighs> we've got our puzzle in here now riley what do you think what do you think you're tired oh there's a lot of people in our house but We've got all of the plants that got moved out here. And basically the only rooms that are kind of gonna be safe today are the sunroom, my office, our bathroom, and then I think the master bedroom they're not touching today, but they are all over the house. <laughs> Touching up all the holes. Riley, I'm vlogging, you can't keep sneezing. You keep sneezing, you sneezy. Why are you such a little sneeze <laughs> Riley, do you wanna go on a walk? Yes? Yes? We just got back from our walk with Riley and they've started on the ceiling. I'm trying to be very discreet because I don't want to interrupt their progress, but I really want you guys to see this. Look at that. They're already starting. Crazy. And then in here, they have done some like little patchwork. But I think they're doing the main room today so that they can like get our couch back and settled. But they did like caulk around the baseboards to make it all smooth and nice. And they've been patching the walls and making it like really, really nice. So I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we should keep the tree here permanently. What do you think? I think it really likes the skylight. He's probably like, dang, put me here forever. Oh my gosh, it looks like we live in a literal jungle right now with the tree and the plants and the more plants. I've got about 15 minutes until my Zoom call with Glossier. I'm so excited to start out the new year on a call with one of my favorite brands. I thought since we've got a little bit of time to kill and since we're just kind of dodging the painters today that I would just do a quick unboxing with y'all of some stuff that came in in the last couple of days to my P.O. box. First thing is from one of my favorite skincare brands. This is the brand OC. They actually just released this new product. This is a body care product, age defined skincare for your body. 72 hours of hydration and their products always feel so luxurious and nice. And this is the cream. Oh, it's so, so big. I love how large this jar is. We'll give it a little test. It smells so like fresh. I'm just gonna use a little bit on my hands. Oh, actually I'm gonna use a little bit more because that feels really, really nice. It's super thick. Love. <sighs> So excited for that. I love their products so much. I'm really excited that they released the body cream. Next up is, I think this is a bag from Teddy Blake, if I'm not mistaken. We've got a box inside of the box here. I opened it upside down. Okay, just ignore my terrible unboxing. Okay, wait. 
We're not gonna look, we're not gonna look, we're not gonna look, we're not gonna look. This is how it was supposed to be opened. This is from a brand called Teddy Blake. They reached out, said they wanted to send me a bag to style up and just see how I like it. And I've been eyeing these bags because I just really like the styles that they have. They're very clean, very modern. And so I was really excited to get my hands on one of these. So this, Inside here is the bag. Inside of the dust bag here, we've got... I actually love this so much. This is such a cute little size. I love the top handle on it. I think it's about 11 inches wide. So it's one of the bigger bags that I have. I don't carry a lot of big bags, but I love the style of this. I love these little tabs here in the front. And I believe you just lift these out and it opens up. So it's got a kind of like suede interior and then two pockets. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you have a zipper pocket and then you just have a regular pocket in there. So it's a really, really structured bag. You also get a strap we love a crossbody. You also get a little lock and key in the pouch. But yeah, this is the bag. One thing that I will note is that it feels really, really durable. So I don't feel like I'm gonna have to baby this bag at all. I just think it is such a great style to have in my collection. So I'm so excited. I think it's gonna fit in really nicely with my other handbags. Okay, really quick. I've got seven minutes till my call and I just wanted to open this one last thing. Because I've been waiting on this for a while now and I think it might have gotten lost in the mail because I think it was supposed to come like closer to Thanksgiving but that's okay. We've got a nice boot barn catalog. They sent me this awesome pair of black cowboy boots. I have been wanting a pair of cowboy boots. These are them and they have the black stitching on black just super subtle cowboy boots. I wanted to like dip my feet into the cowboy boot trend without going too crazy. And I think these are like a really good, almost like modern style of the cowboy boot. I love the pointed toe, obviously, and the heel. So I'm excited to style these up. Definitely gonna be a challenge, but I, I think I might have a couple ideas of how to wear them. We shall see. I just got off my call with Glossier and it went really, really well. It is so cool to be able to actually talk to people who work for these brands that I do review videos for. And everyone who works at Glossier is so sweet, but the girl that I got to talk to was like really complimentary of the videos that I make and the reviews that I make. And so that just meant a lot, but everybody is on their lunch break and so, I wanted to show you guys the progress because it's bright. Like, I don't have a single light on in this house and it's so bright now, now that there's white. I mean, not a single light on in this place right now. Oh my gosh, they patched up every single hole or ding in the wall. And so we've got a little bit of patchwork going, but they have done mostly the first coat. The ceiling is pretty much first coat done. This fireplace, like I said, is gonna be black. So it doesn't really matter that they got paint on it because they're gonna go back and do this all black. But it is so bright in here. I can't even describe to y'all how much better it feels. What I am the most excited for though is for them to finally get to this dining room because this yellow has been haunting me we didn't even really like mind the gray, but the yellow is just like so terrible. So I'm so excited for them to move into this room, but I am really glad that they're kind of prioritizing this main room so that we can get the couch back and everything like that. But we're so, so, so excited. It looks so stinking good. We came inside and look at this. Oh my gosh. This is one coat. It looks so good. It's the same color going into the other room now. It's all one color. It looks so good with the wood. Wow. Okay, I had to get out of the house because there's literally nowhere I can go. So I met up with Nancy. Hey guys, <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> I feel like whenever I pull any of my friends into the YouTube world, it's just like, what do I do? But we're here, we're eating a little lunch. 
Brought and we were me. at this place called Rose Pony. And while we were like sitting down, the power went out on the whole strip. So we reconvened to brothy. Plan B, but not a bad plan B. Yeah, you got a salad? Great stuff. I'm drinking a rosemary honey latte. Nice. And then I got a little cup of soup and some sourdough. So I just got back home and the painters have finished up for today. I stopped by Publix on the way home to grab a bottle of wine and I forgot that tomorrow it's supposed to snow all day and in the south when there is snow in the forecast people rush to the grocery store and they just clean it out basically i got to Publix. i could not find a parking spot people were rage driving through the parking lot and when i finally got a spot like so far away i got inside and every cart was taken all of the shelves were like getting cleaned out and i didn't realize that it was gonna snow tomorrow so i was like what is going on i was like so freaked out by it and then i remembered it's gonna snow tomorrow, but I got my bottle of wine and it literally took 45 minutes, I think, from the time that I pulled into the parking lot and checked out. So, you guys, it looks so good. I have to show you. So, this is our new white living room and I'm really, really excited to see what it looks like during the day. I feel like you can really tell up against the couch now that the walls are white. I think it looks so good. And then we're gonna have our curtains hung back up. The paint is still wet. So obviously our couch is not like pushed up against it. And we have our fiddle leaf back. He had to stay in the kitchen for the day, but he's back. This is what the wet bar looks like white as well. We are going to paint this black to match the fireplace. I actually tell that this counter is like an off-white now because the walls are like actually white and it makes this look a little bit more yellow, which I'm gonna try to not let it drive me crazy. Piano looks so good up against the white. I really wanna show you guys this in the daylight, so I'll show you in tomorrow, but in here, this is where I feel like you can see the biggest difference. My camera doesn't even know what to do because there's so much white. It's like, what do I even focus on? But here you can see it. It looks so much better than the stinking yellow, but I think it looks so good with our hardwoods and the wood doors, I feel like really look stunning up against the white walls instead of the yellow. Wow, it is insane. I mean, this is like an off-white, the kitchen ceiling, and it already looks so different than the white that's on the rest of the house. And look at this, guys. I think this view is my favorite because from here, you could always see the fact that this was a yellow room and then the other room was gray. So it was literally yellow to gray. And now that it's all one color, it just feels so much bigger and more open and cohesive. And it just makes me so happy. This dining room, guys, a transformation just with the paint color. I'm so, so happy. Riley, you're not allowed to touch any walls, okay? No, I didn't say walk, I said walls. No walls. Keep your body away from the walls. You are such a mushy mush. You're so happy. It looks so bright in here now. It's so bright. Yes. Also, my free people package came. Wow, I already love the look of filming in here so much better. It just reflects everything so much whiter and just less gray and yellow. As soon as this is black, I feel like this is just gonna be amazing. But anyway, I got a really, really sweet gift from the mall at Green Hills, which is the mall that I like grew up going to and we've done some work with them this past year. And they sent me a really, really sweet birthday gift, a card and a couple gift cards to free people in Madewell. And it was just really, really sweet. I did not expect anything from the mall for my birthday, especially around the time that my birthday is, which is like right between Christmas and New Year's. I feel like it kind of always just gets forgotten about, which I'm used to at this point. But it was like so sweet that they remembered my birthday and also like sent me a birthday gift. Like that was really, really sweet. So with my Madewell gift card, I ended up getting a pair of Birkenstocks. And then I also got Jason a couple t-shirts and a pair of shorts from Madewell. And then with my Free People gift card, 
I knew exactly what I wanted to get and this was a jacket that I've been looking at for a little bit. So you guys have probably seen this jacket because this is not a new style at all. So this is the jacket and it is literally the fabric quilt version of what I'm wearing right now. I shared this jacket in my favorites video and it is truly something that I'm obsessed with. But what is hilarious is that I loved it so much I got it in the like original quilt version. So this jacket has been out forever and I know so many people have it. I think Target has a dupe of it and it's just a really, really popular jacket. But I've always wanted one because it's like a really heavy weight and I've just heard that people love it and I was like, I kind of feel like I would get a lot of wear at it since it's so casual. And it's this champagne diamonds, I think is what the color is. And it's just like a heavy kind of quilt jacket. And I already love it. So I'm so happy that it came and you can like roll the sleeves. I've seen people roll the sleeves on it to make it like more cash. I'm like already obsessed with it. I think it's perfect, so yay. And I got it in my normal size and it actually fits really, really well. So I was a little bit nervous about it being super slouchy, but I think it's like the perfect amount of like coziness. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and I'm starting off today with a beanie because look what's happening outside now this my friends is a proper snow jason and i woke up this morning at 7 30 and there was no snow it wasn't even snowing and within five minutes of us waking up it has been absolutely downpouring with snow and it looks so beautiful you can see on our table out here how much it snowed it is 10 30 now and it's supposed to go till 5 p.m so all of our plans for today are on pause our place is so beautiful and white guys i'm so excited to show you it in the daylight and not even the daylight the snowy daylight where it's extra bright it is really overcast though so i honestly think this is going to be even brighter once the sun comes out this is the dining room and they're going to come back and do one more coat in this room but it looks so so good we were shopping for new chandeliers last night online just trying to figure out what we want to do our kitchen table and our kitchen chairs should come in this month so i'm so excited to have this be refreshed we need a piece of artwork to go here and then here is the living room in the daylight and it looks so amazing they did the ceilings the cans basically all of it and we're still waiting for it to dry we're just like a little bit paranoid so we're not gonna push the couch up this is what it looks like it is so so bright and it looks so good with the fiddle leaf tree look at that but this is the gray that we used to have so there's a really big difference between the gray and the white you can see it right here but it just feels so so good. What you think? You ready to go on a snow walk? You want to go on a snowy walk? <sighs> okay, well, go put your sweater on and we'll go. This is my outfit for the day. I've got on this Everlane fleece zip over my Free People tank bra. I've got this Madewell beanie on. And then these are some Everlane like quilted joggers over my Everlane leggings. And then I'm gonna put my like hiking boots on and my big Everlane thick jacket. Cause we're gonna take little Bean on a walk. We're taking you on a walk, little Bean. Come on, let's put your sweater on, come over here. Ego. Out here on a snow walk in the neighborhood, Riley's in her sweater. This is the happiest place on earth. We are bundled up. <laughs> Riley has been shaking every few feet to get all the snow off. I love our neighborhood. All the big mature trees. It's really coming down. <laughs> I like your hood. on the road are trucks. You 
guys can see is really coming down. Look at Jason's hood. Oh my gosh. This is some proper snow. Proper snow. Your little snow beard. This is wild. Oh my gosh. It's magic, right? Look at this little walking pack in our neighborhood. It's like so sweet I can't. Oh my gosh, our HOA is paying for something. <laughs> we got back from our walk a while ago and it has not stopped snowing since 8 a.m. I honestly haven't seen a snow like this in Nashville in forever. Like I really don't think it even snowed this much last year. And I asked the previous owner if the koi are going to be okay. She said that it's like frozen over before and they have all survived. So I'm just hoping and praying that my fish are all still alive. Just feels so bright. We have literally not turned on a single light in here all day long. Look at our front. It is covered. The snow plow has gone by three times now and I'm so grateful for the plow, but oh my gosh, we are not gonna be getting out of our neighborhood for a couple of days. Definitely not today, definitely not tomorrow. We saw a sedan trying to make it up one of the hills in our neighborhood and they got stuck. So they had to like go and park down at the bottom of the hill and then walk. So we are definitely just not even gonna try to drive out of this neighborhood for a couple of days tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be a low of like seven degrees and a high of like 20 degrees. So it's definitely not going to melt between now and tomorrow. So I think we might be stuck here tomorrow. So I'm actually going to make a loaf of bread today. And I thought I would just do all of the cozy things while it's snowing outside. It really has not let up. Like I keep thinking it's gonna start snowing lighter and it just keeps coming down a ton, so. I think tonight we are gonna go over to our neighbor's house to make dinner with them and play some games. So I'm really excited to do that, but I wanted to make a loaf of bread. Also, I have yet to take my bangs down, but I'm kind of liking not having my bangs down today. The recipe that I'm doing is the one I always do. This is the simple country loaf. I will put it down below in the description box. gross from the beanie earlier. Jay Wallace is in the house. <laughs> He's going to take out the bread and voila! Oh, babe, that's fine. Wow, the oven proving I will say, I am, really changes the game. Yeah, I'm actually really Holy surprised crap. it turned out so well because I did everything way quicker than I was supposed one, to. Man. That looks so good. What yeah, well, I was supposed to prove it for two hours and I really only proved it for an hour. And it looks so good. So we're going to pop it out. Oh gosh. And take it over to our neighbors. But I'm going to end this vlog here since we're kind of chilling for the rest of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I might film like a how to make a loaf of bread video. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one soon. Bye!